All right, so in today's video, we're gonna take a look at connecting a studio display to a Windows machine. In this case, it's my work laptop, which uh, I honestly do hate. It's a pretty expensive, it was about like three grand at the time. Two year old um, Intel machine. What is it? Yeah, it's a pretty serious uh, piece of kit. But anyway, so I've, uh, me and my friend actually researched this before he bought this monitor and no one actually seemed to really agree and show it working on Windows until I actually checked it at the store. So I'll uh, be doing this quick demo. As you can see, you can use the monitor cable to charge whatever you want. And so it's just a quick matter of finding a not necessarily thunderbolt but this does actually support thunderbolt port and we should actually see it work it uh, had some pretty serious jitters the first time and obviously it's going to do it now as well as i said this is a very shit laptop all the keys are actually shifted to one side i don't know if it's visible yeah it is so it's not the best quality machine, but uh, it will eventually work. And on a ThinkPad, it actually worked the first time immediately. Now this is a highly controlled by my organization machine. So I don't know, maybe that's why it's doing this, but it will actually stabilize and I've had it work for like multiple hours on end. But uh, yeah, so I really don't know why it does this. Perhaps the ports are bad or some drivers are fucked up, but... Uh, uh, if we uh, let it uh, chill out, right? I mean, this is the kind of stuff you might expect, right? As for brightness control from Windows, there is a thread on uh, Reddit where people talk about a small utility someone made. Obviously, I can't install it because, again, I don't have admin on this machine. But people seem to think that it does work, right? So this is absolutely disastrous. I'm just going to try the other port. And I remember correctly, that one worked immediately so yeah this is the kind of quality you can expect from dell unfortunately hopefully they get their act together let's see no pressure yeah, this is not going super well i will say jesus What is it doing? And why isn't it doing it again? Right, so takeaway message is definitely check your compatibility before going ahead. But um, yeah, we're two minutes into this, I will say. Jesus Christ. Oh, I think we have it. Yeah, nice. Well done, man. Well done. Well then, well now it does work, right? So you can see it does identify the displays. And I don't know, it's something to do with, uh, with the power rating, right? And actually everything does work. So for the sound demo, we're gonna check a very cool channel, which uh, I don't know if you know it, but yeah, epic, epic shit. So we'll let them uh, prepare the floors for the experiment. And yeah. I'll take it from there. Alright. Yeah. This guy vacuuming, right? 21 likes. 21 awesome people. Yeah, you know who you are. Thanks. Anyway, so uh, what else can we do? Um, I guess camera. I have to check the camera. So sound works, display works, camera also works. So yeah, obviously I'm in my underwear. What do you expect? And if you swap cameras, right, this is the button. You actually get the studio display camera, or do you? Ah, yeah, so this is the laptop camera, hi. And um, the studio display camera before, yo. So that also works. Uh, USB ports on the back again. You might actually check them out. I have this small thumb drive. It's actually a very nice enclosure from AliExpress, about $20, $30. And uh, supports a small SSD inside. So yeah, it detected it. I'm not gonna encrypt it, obviously. And I'm also not gonna eject it. Such a renegade. 
Anyway, what else can we test? I think that's about it on the window side. Again, we can actually um, have a utility that does brightness. As for switching to a Mac, it should be ever so slightly better. Again, I don't know why it does the jitters. I uh, On the Lenovo, it did not do those at all. Right on Mac, I'm not gonna test the rest of the shit. Sound also works. All right, what do we have? So we could test the sound right quick. So it sounds like amazing, right? Like the, the table is vibrating and the bass is super nice. And the, um, the immersion, right? It does have a very good stereo separation, right? Good highs, good bass, good everything. It is amazing. Like you could definitely have this as your only speaker in your office room, so to say, right? And just right quick, I'll uh, also show you that promised AirPlay demo. So this is running iOS 18 and you can select your MacBook and it will sound. in the monitor and you have volume control as well. And you can daisy chain as many speakers as you want. So this works pretty nicely, I would say. And you can still have the computer sound as well, overlaid on top. Yeah, I'll pick up chips too. Kill two birds with one stone, yikes. Oh. Is there anything else I have to say? It's 60 Hertz, unfortunately. The panel is rather old, right? So you're buying this because it has speakers, a good cap, an okay camera, and because it looks beautiful. It is just a masterpiece of a monitor, right? And 5K, right? And that's probably why there's not this many, these many panels around because it's a weird resolution. It's not 4K. And I believe it's because of all the scaling Apple does, right? With their 16 by 10 or whatever ratio that is. So yeah, that's been it. I hope I've convinced you that it's definitely doable, but with some caveats, right? And this has absolutely no drivers, no nothing, right? And I think it just trips out because it doesn't like the charging part of it. I, I don't know. It is supposed to output 100 watts, so should be ample enough. But again, a piece of shit, my deal. All right, that's been it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Bye. All right, actually, let's try it again. So with the Mac, again, very swift and seamless connection. I mean, this is a very expensive monitor. And actually, the Dell now is playing ball as well. So it stopped doing all the weird jitters, which it was doing before. It's still not elegant, but it does work, right? So it was just a one-time kind of a fluke thing. I don't know, but it did it the first time I connected it yesterday and I haven't rebooted ever since. So I do have like a good 19 days on this machine. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, mileage may vary, but all in all, it does work okay now.